I'm uh, Dennis Kelly. I'm running for sheriff in Greenwood County. All right, Dennis. First question I've got for you. How would you handle the situation if one of your deputies was killed in the line of duty? I mean, of course we would, you know, start an investigation. And that's the thing, I'm not sure what you, like, of course, you know, for officer shot, depending on if it was a, a stop, it was on camera with the in car, you know, of course we would look at that, get the evidence, and of course, you know, we, uh, depending on if the suspect was still there, you know, there's a lot of things that would go into it. You know, we'd set up a perimeter if we had to do a manhunt. Of course, you know, the video camera was would definitely be, um, you know, first priority, look at it to see who, you know, was involved and if we had a identity of a suspect. And of course, you know, if they went to a residence, it would be a little different, you know, now with the body cams, you know, some of that would be captured on that maybe. And you possibly know a potential suspect, you know, of why they were going to the residence if it happened, you know, at a residence instead of a traffic stop. So, of course, we'd set a perimeter. I'm saying main thing is to uh, secure the scene, gather evidence, you know, for court purposes, because you know, it'd be uh, very vital to gather the evidence to get a conviction in court, um, definitely. But uh, but the main concern, you know, would be um, notifying the deputy's family, taking care of their family. And of course, if the um, suspect was on the loose, of course, we would need to notify the media and uh, definitely all the owners and residents in Greenwood County to the circumstances. You know, if somebody of uh, that degree was on the loose, you know, may be endangered. You know, of course, the public, you know, would be vital to get that information out to them so they could secure their property and families. The second question here, what do you see as the most important role for the sheriff? Well, first thing is to be the leader, set the example, and uh, always be transparent and run an ethical department and expect uh, the same out of his officers. And what do you see as the most important role for the sheriff's office as a whole? Well, definitely providing uh, a safe community to the families of Greenwood County um, uh, for whatever services, uh, whether it's crime to just assistance and giving out information and uh, building a stronger community. I think if you have the trust of the citizens in the community, the sheriff's office can be a big asset with uh, fire, EMS, uh, court, solicitor's office, all the municipalities. Uh, um, I think it, team. if you work as a team, of course, you accomplish uh, a lot more uh, as a group than you can at an individual or an individual office. So I think the main thing would be to work together with everybody in the county. Is there a perception the public has about the sheriff's office that you'd like to change? If so, what is it and how would you change it? Well, I think just law enforcement uh, in general and the sheriff's department, I think, uh, would like to gain the trust of the citizens and uh, like I say that goes back to the previous question I think if you are ethical and honest and transparent and you gain the trust of the community and let them know that whatever occurs whether it's with the uh, suspects or criminal aspect to where it's within your department and if you uh, let them know that they can trust that you will handle each situation whether it's one of your employees or whether it's a citizen and they can trust that you're going to do the right thing and you gain the trust from them, I think that goes a long ways. And the last one I've got for you, if you're elected sheriff, what would the sheriff's office look like in four years? Well, I, I would hope that uh, some of the uh, issues that are at hand, you know, would of course be uh, taken care of. But I think um, in four years, we would gain the trust of the citizens community and if I can set up a community advisory board and uh, get information from the citizens of the community because and get somebody from different parts of the county because you have different issues in different parts of the county and somebody on the northern end may have different issues in their community than somebody on the southern end or vice versa somebody closer in town I think if you have input from the citizens and that lets you gauge how your department's going and uh, and then of course you also need to talk to your officers in the areas they're patrolling and find out what issues they're going, um, what the, what they're dealing with. So I think in four years, I think uh, gaining the trust community, I think we would have a strong community uh, working together.